hello everyone today we will show you how to make a bench drill bench drill is basically a drill which you fix to a bench and you work on it so basically what you require is a 12 volt motor okay you can see i have already assembled this motor so i fixed it with a metallic sheet you can use whatever you have at home this is this is this will act as a stand for the motor when you attach the motor to the poles and here you can see i have created one small shaft this is a drill shaft which i have attached to the motor so what i have done is i have i have used a ball point pen So if you can see I have cut this piece from here and then I use this holder which you'll get in the hardware store and I have used the glue stick to attach it to the plastic piece. So this basically will work for us as our drill holder. Normally if you see it has a slot for a screw and then you can just put the drill inside and you can tighten the screws so drill, the drill will be held in its place tightly so it can be screwed from both sides so you get a tight fix mm. apart from the motor you require a wooden plank so you can use any plank at home I am using a you know this is a vegetable cutting board which is pretty old so I'll paint it after I finish the work then you would require some six to eight strings which you'll normally find in the you know ballpoint pens and then these are the two rods which you can use you can also use cycle spokes you can use uh, you know hard nails which are longer uh, you'll get it anywhere so you'll have to cut it by size then you require one wooden plank this is basically a hardwood plank I have joined few strips of wood so I get a strong wood clamp because I need to put it here you know and and this is basically my stand for the pillars here which will hold the motor for me and the structure will look something like this okay and the, and the motor will be fixed here okay I'll show you while I assemble these things it will take some time but what we are going to do is we are going to just tell you the pointers and pause the video do the back end work and continue again okay so first of all what we do is we drill few holes here basically two holes here so you can you can fix the plank like this from below so you'll have to put screws from here and then if you see I, I'm going to put this rod here okay and these two holes you can see four holes here but you know first measurement was wrong so we'll have we have to do another two holes here so it's all about measurement so you can measure and you can put it here so now to, to keep this piece sturdy here I need to I need to fix it here somehow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue here hot glue I have this hot glue gun you can use any means you have at home so I'm gonna glue pause the video so that you don't waste time seeing me gluing this so now you can see that we have fixed its wooden block here and then we have also put some hot glue and we have put our stand here 
Now what you do is you take you can take a visor. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking these screws. Uh, sorry, this nuts here basically. So this nut will work as a channel between two springs because if you put a spring on a spring there are chances that you know it will get entangled when you press you know, so you'll have to keep some something so you can cut uh, something from plastic also basically you now we tried we tried few we tried something like this uh, but somehow we thought we'll use the bolt here so I'll put one bolt first it goes inside one spring another bolt another spring So like that we'll keep doing. So you can see. So this is how. So when you will press the machine, this will work like this. So this is basically for tension. So now you can see that I have already attached an on off switch to the motor. This is very simple. What you do is one point of this on off switch you attach to the motor and then there is so this red wire is the positive node, the black one is the negative one. So if you see the negative wire I given it extension. So what I'll do is I'll put this negative into the negative of this battery. This is a 12 volt battery. You can get small batteries also, but uh, when you use it for drilling, the small batteries will not give you that much power, uh, which you can get from this 12 volt one. I got this from my electronics store. Uh, it's around a bit costly, but if you're doing a project like this, or any other project this battery will always come handy because it will always give you much needed power and this is rechargeable so you don't which is one time spend and what you do is like I said the negative wire will go to the negative one and the positive will go to the switch then there is another knob here so you, you attach a wire here and that wire will go to the positive node in the more in the battery so it's a very basic concept if you see so one wire comes from here attached to the positive side and the negative side you attach directly to the battery so now you can see our set is ready so I'm going to fix the motor here This is how our motor will function. So whenever we want to drill, we'll bring the machine down. So bit will be here. I'll show you that in the final test. So this is the basic movement of the motor. So now if you can see, the motor is coming out from the upper end. So you'll have to you'll have to put some kind of stopper here. You know some kind of stopper something like this a metallic rod maybe you know which can which can stop the motor from jumping out of these two rods so what we are going to do is I'm going to put this rod here and I'm going to and I'm going to shoulder it here and here uh, can try using super glue but I'm not sure whether it will stay there for some time or stay there for long because the motor is going to come up with some energy 
from the springs so it, you will have to have something very sturdy to hold it back by the way this is Sharia ouch yeah so what I'll do is I'll pause the video mm -hmm. again I'll weld this part and then I'll probably come back so I just trying to show you that I'm going to put this small rod here and put the uh, you know shouldering here uh, but before that you need to tie it down because the machine will keep popping up you know and my shouldering gun for heating so you will have to tie this down so that you know you can work with ease because this this will be tied down okay now we are all done with our shouldering you can see here I have put a shoulder it takes a lot of effort uh, you should take help from elders okay uh, if you don't want to shoulder also I realize later on that you can also put a piece of wood here because you just want to have a stopper so you can drill two holes here take size you know two small holes here where you will get a slot or a groove in which these two two rods will go and you can fix the wood here to this wood by a, probably with a screw you know so that's the easiest way out so this is very hard you know shouldering and all you need to have a shoulder gun and shouldering needs a very niche technique I'm also not an expert in that so it took me quite a while more than I think 20 minutes half an hour so now we are all set you can see I have fixed my button here okay it's all haphazard as of now so I'll beautify it later I have put the connections in place so my connections are ready okay now for the testing so first of all let's see if your drill machine works uh, you have to understand this is a 12 volt machine so it will have lots of vibration you know and it's it's on very small uh, iron rod so they it will give you a lots of vibration so you'll have to be very firm you know you'll have to hold this very firmly when you switch it on okay so I, I'm going to switch it on and you can see the uh, kind of energy which rushes out of the trail. <laughs> If I leave the motor, it will be all shaky. You will have to be very firmly holding this. Now for the test. So let's start with a piece of paper. Let's see if we can drill a hole through paper. did it actually did now moving on we'll go to a cardboard so this is a cardboard piece not able to much slot here to put this whole piece inside but I'm I'm sure that it will drill this piece so what I'm going to do is I have chipped off a block here so I'm going to push this inside okay and let's let's take another block I think we need to have a rather Or else what we can do is we can put the piece below this gap you know and see if we can drill a hole in this
successfully. So you can drill a hole in a hardwood. Now for the ultimate test, the CD. Can you drill a hole in a CD? Let's check that. And if we do so, I think we have a very successful project here. The deal got stuck, but we did have a hole. You can see the hole. So probably the plastic melting due to the heat and you know sticking to the drill. We'll try again. So it is drilling a hole but I think the melting of plastic is probably causing it to stick to the CD. Let's give it on last try. We know we are getting successful in drilling holes but Through and through, so that's it, friends. That is from Santosh and family. We'll come with one more project and we'll beautify this. And you'll see we using this drill bench in our next projects for making probably drills holes in the project. So, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.